Drummond in the first half, amazing. What he's been able to do from the field has been nothing short of spectacular. Only a select few players in the league can shoot the ball like that. For the Thunder, a different story. Their three-point shooting has been nowhere to be found. It's really hurt them offensively. That's why they're behind. And now, let's check out the other game still going on. The Charlotte Hornets are trailing the heat out in Miami. Things are not looking too good for them out there in the third. And the other game still underway. Out at AT&T Center, the Spurs have the lead against the Wizards. They're trying to maintain a three-point edge in the fourth there. And that'll do it. Let's get you out to the second half. About to start at Staples Center. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. The busy streets of Los Angeles, lighting up the night sky as we continue. Drummond having a terrific game. Eight rebounds, and he's added a steal to his stat line also. Well, that's obviously not a big number, but you know, he's been doing some valuable defensive work for him. So for Oklahoma City right now. Number five, defended by Caldwell Pope. The pass to Alexander. Outside Williams. Off target from three-point range. Here's Schroeder. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And Davis backs down. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. The three-point game is such a big part of the NBA. Let's see the best teams at it. The Lakers, number one. The Thunder in fourth. Well, I tell you what, Kevin. Both of these groups of guys can knock down the triple. I mean, they are deadly from behind that arc. Great shooters who don't feel like they need to rush their shots. They're always comfortable casting up those three-pointers. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Number 17. Off target from outside. The Lakers shooting 65%. Outstanding offensive display from them. Schroeder kicks to Morris. Connects from three-point range. Morris has got 13 points. Number five, defended by Caldwell Pope. Number 17. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. He's got 11. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. Yeah, in fact, three of the last five makes are from beyond the arc. Schroeder passes to Drummond. Here's Schroeder. Lets it go from deep. Here's Davis. Misses the layup. He had him with that bump thing. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Los Angeles It's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession. Here's where Oklahoma City sits in the NBA statistical standings right now. Third in steals. Fourth in three-point field goal percentage. And they also show up in the top five in assists. They've got scores, and they're a pretty good passing team as well. Yeah, let's go back to those steals for a second. Point. I think that's such a key aspect for this team's success because when they get out and really pressure teams and force mistakes, that allows them to get easy shots at the other end offensively. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. Taking a look at the Lakers. They're in the middle at fifth in the conference, looking to build in the wins as the season goes on. And, of course, there's the Thunder four games back. Checking out Los Angeles. I mean, this team has been kind of hit or miss to start the season so far. Not really playing up to the high standards they normally expect. Yeah, an elite team. I think they understand. They can play better than this, and they will as the season wears on. They just got to find their rhythm. Pretty, pretty passive. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Number five, defended by Caldwell Pope. And he finishes nicely on the way Muscala's got his third. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. 
Schroeder is out there with Caldwell Pope. Then it's Anthony Davis. Then there's Andre Drummond. And it's Morris in at the small forward position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now here is Davis. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. You know, Kevin, he never gives up on a play. That's what I love about him. He's just one of those guys who will bring effort and energy the entire 48 minutes. And we can't forget to mention his rebounding now. When you watch him, just keep an eye on the way he battles in the paint when the shot goes up. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Utah Jams. Yeah, they were really in a funk from the field, guys. Credit the defense, definitely, but even when they got open looks, they were not hitting. Hey, Steve, me and you flub up words and misstate things on occasion. So do these players have bad nights. It happens. <laughs> and Drummond kicks to Schroeder. Here's Davis. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. Now, these were two of the top teams in the conference a year ago. And I'll tell you what, this club is really at their best in those games. The season series really belonged to them. Here's Schroeder. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. No good from Caldwell Pope. Oklahoma City has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Feeds it to Williams. And that one is hammered home. Uh, Clark, I'm guessing that wasn't the plan for the D on that trip. <laughs> and I'm agreeing with you there. Once they opened the lane up for him, that was a little emphasis on that finish. Take what the defense gives you and then just power it home, right? Why not? You just can't overstate how important those matchups between the top conference teams are. Well, there's always a lot at stake, Kevin. You want to get that good seed in the spring. Both these teams know every game is going to be a battle. These players think about that. They, oh, yes. They know about the seed. They sure do. They got it. For Oklahoma City, they have shot three of seven at the foul line. Well, they're doing okay uh, as the season uh, goes on. They're shooting about 76% as a team. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Rejected by Caldwell Pope. And it's the Lakers on the break. Here's Kuzma. Doesn't get the finger roll. Looking at Oklahoma City, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Bulls. Oh, look out! Oh, 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 oh. I'd say that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Here's Schroeder averaging 13 points a contest. And the shot counts. He's fouled. It's a chance for a three-point point. That's terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the hit. That's how you do it. The bump and the bucket. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They've been the aggressors, and they've been tougher in the paint all game. Another thing they've done tonight well is share the ball. So many of their points have come off of um, good crisp passes. No good. The Lakers have gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Hero battles through traffic and lays it in. Well, Thunder have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Pass to Howard. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Number 11. The Lakers with the rebound. Gasol's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Boy, they've really dominated on the glass. And, of course, they've done a lot of good things here tonight. But the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victor. The defense was ready for him that time, and they had to be. He is so powerful in the lane. Thunder with the rebound. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. Puts up the baby hook. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. They get Mark Gasol. For Oklahoma City, they have had a disappointing game so far from the line. Only three free throws made. And the Thunder making a switch here. And so he hits both. LA's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's Tucker. Somehow ignores the tight D and makes the layup. 
the Thunder shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. Speed. From the top of the key, he buries it. A minute 50 left in the third quarter. Here's Schroeder, defended by Alexander. A nice shot by Tucker. No matter who it is, that kind of defense is not going to cut it. And there's the feed to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Brown's got his second basket. Beautiful reverse. He got his glide on and left the D in the rear view mirror. Now the pass to Tucker. And he goes in for the top. Fifty-nine seconds left in the third. He feeds it to Howard. Pass to Alexander. Back to Howard. Fires the three. Shot is off. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Next up for them is going to be the Suns. That'll be at the U.S. Airways Center. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. I'll be looking forward to seeing how that Phoenix game turns out for sure. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Nineteen seconds left to play in the third. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Howard's got his first bucket of the night. The Lakers have gone 7 for 16 in the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. Schroeder passes to Morris. Tries to save it. And out of bounds as the Thunder game is up. The three. Can't connect. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. The Lakers. Tune in Monday, January 18th. The Milwaukee Bucks go on the road to do battle with the Portland Trailblazers. East versus West. Be there. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Lakers shooting about 59% from the floor. Offensively, they've been running without a hitch. So for Oklahoma City right now, McKinney passes to Davis. Here's Kuzma. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Thunder. They can look forward to the Quicken Loans Arena after this game in a matchup against Cleveland. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. Los Angeles making a switch here. So he gets them both. Oklahoma City shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Number six. He's covered by Matthews. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul call. He'll shoot free throws. Here's a look at the schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. Next up for them is going to be the Suns. That'll be at the U.S. Airways Center. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Tell you, I'll be looking forward to seeing how that Brooklyn game turns out. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's McLemore. Passes to McKinney. Hero, he's covered by Brown. And the layup is good. Now the Thunder with it. Speed, he's covered by Matthews. 
He kicks it to Brown, and it's blocked. And it's the Lakers on the break. McLemore with the ball. All sorts of time. The putback, the follow-up clock. That's how to make your mark on the board with an emphatic finish. Oh, Clark, he was savage on that second opportunity. <laughs> now, those are the types of possessions that are really demoralizing for a defense, guys. It's stolen by McLemore. Here's Kuzma. Finishes the break with the slam. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yes, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. From the arc, and the basket good. That's his first three-pointer of the half. Remember, he did make one in the first half as well. From outside the arc, Harold, the layup off target. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Number 11 finds himself wide open and drills it. Lakers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. McLemore, the pass to McKinney. No good. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that range. And it's good. You know, the teardrop sometimes is one of those, oh, no, oh, no, oh, yeah, shots. And McLemore gets to Matthews. Knocks down the three ball. Three ball. Well, with him, what immediately comes to mind is the long-range shooting. I mean, he can knock down shots from anywhere, and, of course, that forces the defense to locate him at all times. And he's a great three-point shooter, too, especially when he lets it go from one of those corners. He doesn't miss many of those. Well, I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. McLemore, the pass to McKinney. Backs down. The dish to McLemore. To the paint. Hero. There's the killer two-handed slam. You know, he might be small for a center. But it doesn't really matter because he can jump out of the building. Thunder have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Back to Brown. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Yeah, they're going to need some help there defensively. That matchup is going to be a tough one to deal with. And the Thunder making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. Beyond the arc, and the shot is good. I like the way they've played here in the first half. Just an intelligent flow game, getting good shots. Numbers certainly back that up. They're shooting a much better percentage. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Howard dishes to Brown. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. The assist. LA has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's Tucker, uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Their next game is at Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, taking on the Cavaliers. And that'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Hey, he had all the time in the world to get that shot. The finger will finish at the bucket. You know, something we're seeing less and less of these days, that little finger roll. Number 11, defended by Tucker. Here's Howard, and he throws it down hard with one hand. You know, there are a lot of bigger power forwards than him in the NBA, but very few that rise up like he can. Matthews into the lane. Here's Tucker. A three-pointer off the mark. Thunder have gone 7-9 from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. A shot by Howard. Again, Howard missing. Tell you what, he can be really frustrating as a shooter. All you can do is grimace because he just can't find the rank. Hero. A stupendous finish in track. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Oklahoma City's gone 1-2 from three-point range here in the fourth. There's a screen. Back to Howard. And 
it's Howard again missing. And for the Lakers, they're shooting it brilliantly here late. 60% from the field. Got that one up quick. I wasn't so sure he could get it turned around after that poor first half, but uh, he's got it rolling here a little bit in the second. Number 11, defended by Tucker. Dishes it to Howard. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take Lakers possession. Ball. Just got a little careless on that pass. They should be able to connect on those. Number and the 22. Thunder making a switch here. <laughs> LA has gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Here's McLemore. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. He dishes it to Howard. Shot to stop the run. And that one comes up a bit short. Nobody anywhere close to him. Where's the defense? He's got to make that shot, though. Kicks it to McLemore. The pass to McKinney. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Harold feeds it to McLemore. Five on the clock. Tucker can't get it to go. Then to shooting for the game at 42%. Pass to Brown. Noah. Excellent D there for McKinney. And for the Lakers, they're shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. Puts it up from 15. Tucker, hero, misses the lane. Now the feed to Brown. Makes it off the glass. Oh, boy, looks like he was injured there. Yeah, he's not happy right now. You can see it's really hurting him. You sure can, Steve. I mean, it's difficult to say exactly how serious it is, but hopefully we'll have an update soon. And the Thunder making a switch here. Alexander's checked in. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Now, well, tough call there on that illegal screen. He didn't look set to me, Steve. I thought that was a good call. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Steve, they are in complete control. Well, everything they're doing, Kevin, has been working out. I mean, the game plan was solid, and they are executing out there. And that is good. Just a little bit more for these fans to cheer about as they get ready to celebrate the win. Well, they can already start to celebrate, Steve, and they should let their team hear it. They were good. Number 11. And a foul on the shot. Let's go to the strike for two. The first one falls. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Eight seconds left to play in the final quarter. Outside Matthews. Off target. And so it's 